Now, with the fact that Young Bleed signed with No Limit, mm -hmm. first album, smash out the gate, you were all over that album. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And for those of you who are, who are listening later on, I'm talking about My Balls and My Words. Right, balls and which, My Words. Yeah, which is Young Bleed's debut album. It's a classic. Yeah. That's a, that's a rap game classic, period. Like, that's a classic album. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. do, do you think that was possible because No Limit had set up shop in Baton Rouge? and it made it easier to connect with the local artists? Or do you feel that you guys were making so much noise that somebody was gonna come by and sign you guys regardless? Yeah, to me, it's like one of the things that we was gonna make the way however it was. It just so happened to be that way, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. whether that happened like that or not, one way or the other, them up, they was gonna see us, you know what I'm saying? We was coming, so. And then like the whole um, No Limit we bleed and all that is like, you know, people, Think he was signed to No Limit, but he really wasn't. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like a thing they worked out with with Low uh, P and Bleed, and you know it was. For because okay, let's clear it up for once mm -hmm. and for all. Sila was really like one of the executive producers on that album, still, right? Right, he was. Uh, he like it's like Bleed was kind of like under Celo management, and uh, but yeah, nah, Low definitely was a uh, matter of fact. I think on the back of it is safe executive produced by Master P and C Lo or something like that. I, I believe so. I believe it says that on right. the credits. Right? So yeah, it was like a little thing like, you know, Bree had that song, How You Do That, the, yeah. that was his song before Pete, you know, yeah. and, and, and when, when you know, that song just blew up and Loke was just out there moving around and networking and he some kind of way hooked up with Pete. And so what is that moment like though? I don't want to cut you off. When, when, when how you do that there? Yeah, when, how you do that there blew up and then you guys yeah. got an album that you know is going to do well. You guys are all on it, it was, and now and then it actually performs. I mean, well, the how you do that there came first. Like that was the first count. The, the album was called the count. That was like a compilation at that time. That came out in 97. So that's what the original, how you do that, that was on the one with Just Bleed. Wow. The name of it was A Fool. That was the original name of that song, A Fool, right? A Fool? Yeah. So when that song came out, when that album came out, that song just, that was, it like went viral back then, you know? <laughs> now, Aaron, yeah, you know, the same comparison to go with viral. Right. So instantly you guys were like, you already stars, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Bleed and Lope was kind of, you know, Coming up, me and Bond was still in the background, and you know back then, like we wasn't on TV, and shit, so few people they they knew our voices and shit, but they didn't know our face. So you know, but yeah, we was moving around, we was doing shows and all that. So then that's when you know P and the Loke and Bleed connection happened. P uh got this how you do that there and made a remix for the Unbowed soundtrack. Okay. So when the Unbowed soundtrack came out, that's when the one with P and um Loke and Bleed came out. The how you do that the ah. video and all this shit. And okay. that's when shit went to that level. That's something you might even be breaking right now for everybody because I I didn't know that how you do that there was on uh was on the camp out right. first. The first camp, if you look at it, it's a a fool. Number three, I think, or something. But that was Bleed song by itself. So that was like the one that, you know, that blew up first. And so, then the remix happened. The one with Pen was a remix, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Now, uh, since we're talking about Young Bleed, right? Mm -hmm. He was in the documentary, right? That you did. Right. Do you still have a relationship with him? Yeah, most definitely. Me and him just shot a uh, video to uh it's a song called better than the last time that was on bleed album that really was it was like my song uh and you know bleed jumped on it we put it on his album so me and him had linked back up and we shot a video for this song like 20 something years later you know because it was like a classic song everybody loved off that album you know what i'm saying so we uh yeah now nah, i still with bleed man that's my dog but uh you know we went through a little period where we hadn't talked for a while but you know that be how to be everybody grow up and go do their own thing but uh it's always love with men bleed and you made a big point about that you said there was a break in the yeah where every, some people went with young yeah, yeah, yeah everybody and, was and them gathered out so and some people went with c right? right it's like you know um you know bleed he he went did his thing low 
me and Vaughn and Happy kind of went did our own thing, you know, because we didn't want to pick a side or whatever. But then eventually, you know, uh, me and Lope came back together and started doing, you know, the next round of the camp. And that's the one that's when Booster came along. OK, so it's kind of like two different phases of the camp. You yeah. know, and I got that. I I got that. I was like, OK. So you guys broke up, came back together, mm -hmm. and then eventually, you know, we'll talk about it a little bit. You guys ended up, let's be real, you guys discovered Lil Boosie to be real like that. Yeah, no like, doubt. Like on a major level. For all, well, we got a plan tonight for all of you, OG dude from, you know, from the hood, from Southside, Baton Rouge. He, the one who, uh, brought, you know, he brought Boosie to Lope. 